Hello everyone, it's me, your favorite, perhaps only food bank influencer in the whole world, Christina Wong. And uh, if you've been watching these videos, it's me usually taking you through this place called World Harvest Food Bank, where for a donation you can leave with a giant heaping cart of groceries. This started with me a couple years ago saying, I wonder if I could get a, a I wonder if I could get away with only spending $50 a month on groceries. And then I discovered this place and it's been more than easier to do that. So uh, when I had started going here a couple years ago, it was $40 for a heaping cart of groceries. It moved to 45. July 1st, Glenn, the CEO of this place, had to shift to a $55 donation for a cart of food. So uh, that's still the best bargain in town. There was an article that just came out in the LA Times saying what grocery chain is the cheapest. For some reason it was Trader Joe's, but they bought 15, just 15 small items at Trader Joe's, it was a little under 50, and then one of the other, the, the more expensive chains, it was, it was Sprouts, I think it was like 70 some bucks. So we're gonna show you how you can leave with hundreds of dollars of stuff. Basically, I have a bunch of aunties meeting me here today. We're gonna chip in on a $55 cart, and then I'm gonna show you how much stuff we get. All right. So they have so much stuff here that it overflows to the outside. So Saturdays, which is what today is, there's sort of like this flea market outside where they take all the hard goods and they're put outside. Sometimes it's like Tory Birch, sometimes dead sheets. But all this stuff is super duper cheap, cheap. Uh, much cheaper than in a store. Hi! And you can see it's just overflowing. These are all things they're donated and as a consumer you can you can get it too. So this is, this. Uh, if you don't want to buy a $45 cart, or sorry, $55 cart, you can, um, you can just purchase the items as they are. You bring them to the counter. They, they tell you the price. It's much cheaper than a store. Um, but there's a lot of really good stuff here. Asian groceries, canned soup, giant cans of protein, a lot of stuff that's been donated from airlines. Um, sometimes you'll see stuff from Erewhon here. Let's see, let me show you some, like clam do some fancy stuff sometimes. There's been this Israeli meat. It's here. And these are the fridges that were purchased for my birthday with um, all my friends donating. We just raised for my recent birthday eight grand to buy industrial fridges uh, because their last industrial fridge broke. So that's a fridge in the back. But this is also where you can see they got a lot of good, they got a lot of like really fancy burrata cheese, stuff like that. Ooh, ooh. You can also buy a hand cart. Uh, so this is like only like 20 bucks if you want to fill like a small cart for with food. It's a lot of baby formula and stuff still in stock. Ooh, this is supposed to be really good to keep your hair in good condition, these kind of. So there's a lot of um, stuff from Costco that has been returned but has not been opened. <gasps> Fish oil tabs. Fish oil tabs. I mean, I am here for this. I need to get some of those. Yes, yes, yes. This, this I've been using, or I've been working. My hair's still on my head. This is really toner. Toner's really good. Toner's a good thing to have. We'd heard about this. There is dragon fruit today. So exciting, lots of dragon fruit. Today's selection of food. Whole bags of salad. Just ready to pour. Ready to pour. And then I see tomatoes and grapes. Artichokes. <gasps> Spring mix. This is amazing. This is amazing. And mushies. I see I see already cut cauliflower. Oh, this is good. This is good folks. This is really nice. We don't see any of the fancy bread, but there's a lot of bread. A lot of post 4th of July bread happening. A lot of, lot of multi-grain, a lot of multi-grain folks. And pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds of chicken. Lots and lots and lots and lots of chicken, lots of chicken, lots of chicken. Look at this, look at this, still the best bargains. This one, best bargains. Yes, I'm a bargain. Yes, the bargains. Pulitzer <laughs> <laughs> Prize. Nominee. Finalist. 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 <laughs> and, uh, might as well just say, the 
a winner. Yeah. <laughs> are you volunteering today? What are they here for? They're for Pava to volunteer. Oh, Pava! Oh, yes. we've been in meetings um, for the uh, Koreatown Cultural Center. Uh, the, the, yeah, uh, we, well, we have. How are you feeling? It's your first time. Are you overwhelmed? Yes, I'm overwhelmed. It's very overwhelming. Look at this. This is all. So we, we decided to go three ways on the $55 cart because three more aunties showed up and it was not all going to fit. Cases of soda. All right. Random. And you're getting Inca soda. All right. The Incas From the Incas. made it. Yes. The Incas did. made it. The yes. Incas made that soda. Yes. So this is all this extra stuff we and, are being given. Um, 10 pounds of Jadari. 20. 20 pounds of Jadari. Oh my God. Yeah. Chicken, free range, okay. Everything here. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Food bank daddies are That's here. Right. That's right. So this was all $55. All this plus all this over here. Is your brain is blowing up? Is your brain blowing up? So it's even better. Yeah. yeah. Patty, hi. <laughs> okay. So if I ever go missing, I just want uh, you to let the authorities know to look for me under a pile of food that Glenn Carrado gave me. All right, today we spent $55 on the cart. Um, we ended up having six people show up. It was really hard to split that cart six ways. Um, so we went on, we each got two carts three people went in on each cart. Basically what I'm gonna show you was my share that was $18.33. We, we were offered chicken, I don't eat chicken. We were offered um, dairy milk. I, I did not take the dairy milk because I don't do that. But uh, I'm just a person by myself trying to eat all this food. But there was a lot of food and I'm gonna show you it right now. Hey folks, right here, one huge flat of dragon fruit, cold to the touch. Um, I should be prepping it right away, like cutting it, cubing it, maybe freezing it. I'm gonna eat, I'm so hungry, I'm gonna eat a couple of these right now as soon as I've done, I'm done with the haul. Okay, we got this free white bag. He had a bunch of these, he was trying to give us them by the dozen. Uh, hearts of Palm, um, which make great vegan calamari. I might try to do that. Uh, butter, little individual butters. One avocado, two avocado, three avocado, um, shallots, shallot, shallots, bag of grapes, and provolone cheese. This is not the end of it. This is sage. I'm going to attempt to make a sage pesto with this or something. Maybe a sage brown butter sauce. Okay. This is kind of nuts. This is a giant bag of sea salt. So I, I'm i just gonna put that in a jar or something and then I'll, I think I'll have salt for the next few years. Uh, I got fresh wet naps and this is like the airline special. These are um, fruit leathers and stuff like that. All right. Okay, so this is what was in there exactly. I just opened it. These entire mango shoved into plastic. Um, a bunch of airline almonds and uh, fresh naps. All right, we got multi-grain bread, three onions, and a whole, look at this big bag of spring mix, big bag of spring mix. This will last a while. Hey, all right, this is the end of it. This is a little baby, um, no, it's not baby, Roma tomatoes, three ears of corn, it is summer, lemons, one giant onion, four bananas, all these beautiful, I think, oyster mushroom stems. That's gonna be so good in a stir fry. And two bunches of asparagus. And the piece de resistance. There's a whole flat of Nantucket nectars. So yes, that was a haul. Thank you. I'm waiting, look at this. Look at this mess. I'm waiting for shelves to get built here and then all that will make its way onto the shelf. Until then it's like on the floor, but that was the haul. That was $18.33. Um, there was more I could have brought home, but I was like, I'm trying to create a manageable situation in my home, Glenn.
So thank you, Glenn Corrado. I, uh, he explained to me that the cart price had to go up to $55. It had just been bumped up to 45 because minimum wage went up, gas is up, just like all these expenses are adding up. And uh, as much as they don't want to pass on the, the cost to us, uh, it's still a very small cost. So I really suggest you go down there, 3100 Venice Boulevard. I suggest you bring two friends to go in on thirds. Um, but if you're just a bunch of single people who just need a little, little bit, you can probably get up to five people in there. Um, but the, the people I split with today uh, are both couples. Not me though. I just have to eat for a couple. Anyway, see you next haul. See you next haul. Don't go hungry.